Worsts next, first the second of our nightly quick comments. And thanks to Rudy Giuliani. Seriously, a pivotal point would not have occurred to me had Giuliani not said this about the criminal trial of Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib. The president made a very big mistake in not making him an enemy combatant, because the minute you make him a criminal justice defendant, you cut off the ability to really question him. You want to keep an enemy combatant for about a month or two to get all the intelligence he is willing to give you, because that intelligence could be about other possible attacks on the United States. It was Mr. Bush who beat it into our heads that al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups planned their attacks years in advance. We know Abdul Muttalib was trained in Yemen. We know that the last detainee arrived at Gitmo in September 2007, and at that time, President Bush had at least 111 Yemenis there. We know that enhanced interrogation has taken place at Guantanamo Bay. And so this question, courtesy Mr. Giuliani, the Yemenis at Gitmo, detainees or enemy combatants, no lawyers to interfere, subjected to enhanced interrogation. Why didn't they produce actionable intelligence about other possible attacks on the United States, attacks that were presumably years in the planning by the al-Qaeda group in their own country? Maybe enhanced interrogation is utterly unreliable and useless?